Who was it from CBC who asked you to be on the show, and did they have a set idea for the concept of the show? Ray McConnell was uh, directing the show, and he was very, whatever we wanted to do was fine. I understand that initially only you and Lenny were going to be on the show. How did Ron Halderson come to be involved in it? So when Lenny and I had the opportunity to do this show, we just thought, hey, three is better than two, let's go for it. He's a really, really fine musician, really fine. Both Lenny and I were adamant about getting on that show. He took up electric bass and became a sensational electric bass player. And he also, somewhere along the way, he got to be a really good guitar player, too. We each contributed arrangements. Lenny had nothing written down. So the arrangement that he contributed was Days of Wine and Roses, which was, <laughs> I mean, it was really weird. At the time, I, there, were, there were chord progressions in there. I thought, where the hell is this going? At any rate, nothing was written down. He taught us our parts out of his head which is mind-blowing. Um, now, either he was making it up on the spur of the moment, which I doubt, or else he'd already worked out all of the voicings for the whole arrangement. But he, he taught every bar to us, note by note, bar by bar. So I just wrote it down. <laughs> I go, okay, da -da 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 -da. that is my part. And I think Ronnie did the same thing, if I'm not mistaken. And then went home and learned it. It's just, as they said, it's mind-blowing. No, that, the Days of Wine and Roses was completely his. It was, I wanted to do a classical thing. And he said, well, there's one that I already know. I and mean, I thought, well, that's probably going to be easier than my having to teach it to him. So, as a matter of fact, it was a duet. I think it was for harpsichord. It's a Bach thing. I forget the name of it. <laughs> he said, okay, this is the part that I know, like the, this part and this part. And he said, I know this part. Can you, can you play this part? And I said, okay. Because, first of all, there was no sense in my having to learn the, th the thing that he'd already right. spent months at. So we got to one passage about halfway through, and I said, well, wait, whoa, 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 that doesn't sound quite right. And he said, oh, yeah, I changed that. And I said, well, <laughs> um, this is Bach, you know. I mean, he said, yeah, I know, but I like mine better. And I said, well, I might too but I don't think we can do that. Because <laughs> uh, the counter melody that I was playing didn't fit what he'd changed. He said, okay, no problem. I'll go back to what's written. It's kind of vanilla.
Hello, and welcome to our show. And we also would like to say welcome to our favorite trio of guitarists, Jimmy Perry, Lenny Bro, and Ron Halderson. And now, last year's Academy Award-winning tune, which was called The Days of Wine and Roses, in a very unusual arrangement. <laughs>
from the new beat of the bossa nova to a rhythm that has been handed down from generation to generation in Spain for a long, long time. It's Jim Perry and Lenny Bro with variations on an original flamenco theme. Thank you, Jimmy and Lenny, for that uh, lovely flamenco music. And now again, a complete change in musical mood. This is a tune that uh, Charlie Parker wrote about 25 years ago, and it's the trio again, uh, Lenny and Jimmy and Ron. And I think the tune describes itself best in its title. It's called Billy's Bounce. <laughs>
This is the CBC Television Network.